Hey YouTube, this is Tech Savvy Solution, and I'm here with a tutorial on how to upgrade your iPhone or iPod Touch to iOS 7 Beta 5, which to this date is the latest version of iOS 7. It hasn't been released to the public yet. And this tutorial does not need a UDID or a developer's account, so just go ahead and upgrade using this tutorial. Now, one thing I want to note is that uh, you'll be needing to download some files, and I have links to that in the video description below, so be sure to check that out. Um, just one other thing that you should keep in mind is that iOS 7 does not support jailbreaking, at least not, you know, not as of today. So if you have jailbroken, jailbroken your iPhone or Apple Touch before, um, it's not going to carry over to the new firmware. You're going to lose it. So, you know, just keep that in mind. And also, um, if you unlocked your phone through jailbreaking means, um, if you use a program to both jailbreak and unlock your phone, or if you had to download something from Cydia, that is probably also going to be gone when you upgrade. So these are just things to keep in mind. But other than that, um, if none of those things really matter to you, you can go ahead and watch the rest of the tutorial and enjoy. All right, so the first thing that you want to do is make sure that your iPhone or iPod Touch is on version 6.1.3 for your firmware or 6.1.4. A way that you can check this is to go to your settings app and then go to general and hit about. It should be right under the capacity and available. So you can see version. I don't know if my camera will focus. But anyways, you get the gist of that. Uh, mine is on 6.1.3, which is okay. And I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade that to iOS 7 when we're done. So after that, your next step is to go ahead and open up your web browser. And actually just go to the video description below and click on the first link. That will take you to the firmware downloads page, which look, should look something like this from iHacks blog. And then scroll down until you see the model of the phone or iPod touch that you have. So, you know, if you're on a CDMA network like Verizon or Sprint, you're going to click on this link. If you're on AT&T or T-Mobile or, you know, an iPhone that uses a SIM card, you're going to go ahead and click on this. And if you're like me and you have an iPod Touch 5, you're going to click on this link. And then just wait for the ad to skip. There should be like on the upper right hand corner, you can skip the ad and then you can download your file. So notice the file that you're downloading, it's actually a DMG file. So it won't be able to work um, directly with iTunes, which means you have to convert it to the file that does work. So in that case, we're going to head over to the second link in the video description, which is the DMG extractor for Windows or for Mac if you're using that. And then you're going to go ahead and click on this link in red. Wait for the advertisement to skip. Click download. And then you can go ahead and download your file. So when you download your files, just make sure that you keep track of where they end up. So most of you guys have a downloads folder. Um, you can download it to your desktop. That's pretty easy to find because you're going to be able to, you're going to need to be able to find those files when you work with iTunes. In this case, I have a downloads folder. So I'm going to go ahead and open up um, the DMG extractor first. Should have this file name. So you just click agree, and then um, just as a note, I would do the custom installation. So I'm not going to install Angry Birds or anything, or set my default search and stuff like that. Just things that you don't need. And once that is complete, I'm gonna go ahead and open up the file, the DMG extension. I just renamed mine, so yours is going to look different, but just look for the file that has .dmg at the end. It should have like some crazy um, weird extension that you don't normally use on a daily basis. So you open up that file, and most likely this browser will find it for you because you can only search for DMG files. So you, get a, you go ahead and open that, and then 
is extract. And again, like you can choose wherever you want to extract it to, just make sure you know where it's going to be. In this case, I'm just going to put it into my downloads folder so everything could be there. And then you're going to be prompted with this message, but just, um, just forget about that. And click continue. Alright, and once it's done, it's going to go ahead and open up the folder in which it extracted the files. And then your next step from here is to go ahead and open up iTunes. And then from here, you can connect your iPod Touch or your iPhone to iTunes. And iTunes should recognize your device as normal. And then you're just going to go to the upper right hand corner to the iPod the iPod tab or I, I should say either iPad, iPod or iPhone to so go up here. Click on that. All right. And then you're going to hit check for update, but you have to hold shift while you're doing it if you're on Windows and I believe it's like the option key for Mac. So at least for me, I'm going to go ahead and hold shift and then click check for update. And then it's going to prompt me with um, a dialog to search for the file that I want to upgrade to. So I'm going to go ahead and find the um, firmware, the IS IPSW file that we just converted um, our download to. So remember this, we converted it to that file and now we're going to look for it. So take me to that folder and here you can see that I have my IPSW file that I just had converted so I'm gonna open that and then now just click OK or update and then you just wait for it to finish when it's done you'll see this message and just wait for the iPod to restart All right, so this is pretty awesome. Um, once your iPhone or iPod Touch starts up with iOS 7, you'll be greeted with this nice um, new lock screen. Gone is the black bar that tells you to slide to unlock. It still does, but it's in a much more minimalistic view. So you can hit continue, and then you can go through all of your settings. Go ahead and get started, and it's pretty cool. Nice. The new lock screen. And then if you uh, double tap the home button, you get a new multitasking interface. So I'm going to go ahead and open up some applications, uh, maybe Safari, go see some music. We go ahead and open up a web page. So now we double tap, and here we have these thumbnail previews of each application. It's pretty nice. So just more on um, iOS 7 later, I'll probably post a new video review of this firmware. But in that case, I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Um, if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments below. And as always, please rate, comment, and subscribe. I do appreciate your feedback. So I hope to see you in the next video review or tutorial. All right, thanks.